Now I just want to mention how we can prevent or reduce our risk to develop diabetes so that at least uh, to keep it under control. This is a key point. Sometimes uh, people uh, think that they cannot fight the disease and it's very uh, big mistake. We definitely can. And it's uh, if the disease is going to control you or you can control the disease. And usually um, if you get give yourself let's say a couple of months to be on, um, on a strict diet and exercising, just, just to follow recommendations what we all give you, that you might definitely see a big difference in your own well-being condition and um, in your numbers, very important numbers. Uh, we have to keep your hemoglobin A1C below seven, please remember it. And uh, your blood sugar should be um, your morning blood sugar should be below uh, in low hundreds i would say from 90s to 110 would be the uh, perfect uh, numbers um, and i'm talking about people with diabetes pre-diabetes i would like to see a little bit lower numbers but if it goes below 70 it might be dangerous for the body so please uh, keep yourself ready, uh, for yourself ready, any orange juice or um, any hard candy or even sugar pill. You can buy it at any pharmacy, it's over the counter. Uh, if you start feeling, uh, if you start having any symptoms of um, being dizzy, um, lightheaded, um, passing out sensation, tremor. So it might be symptoms of that you're dropping blood sugar too low. So even if you don't have a blood sugar machine with you, you have to take um, your um, sugar pill, as I said, or heart candy to bring your blood sugar numbers up a little bit because it's not as dangerous to have your blood sugars on a little bit high sides and to drop it too low as well. So it's always about to get your blood sugar diabetes, not only high blood sugar numbers, but low as well. So to keep it in the therapeutic range as, uh, as we already mentioned above.